Can we talk about the F word? Of course I'm talking about fitting. I say the F word because I know so many people are worried and struggle with this. So today for Tricky Thursday, I'm going to be sharing the top three fitting adjustments that I see when fitting a basic bodice sloper. If you are new to my page, my name is Trisha. I'm the owner of Creative Costume Academy, where I find it is my mission to share my knowledge about pattern making with you so that it is an easy and fun process and you can start doing things right away. Today, I'm gonna help you with fitting a bodice. Susie is going to be my fit model for this exercise. This is Susie. First thing you wanna look at is the level of where this bust dart is. And while it's not in the right spot, we'll deal with that in a second, it is at the right level. So the next thing I wanna look at is whether it's too tight or too loose in the sides. It is a bit tight here, and we could take it in a little bit here. So I am going to open up this seam and take in the bottom. You can see I opened up my basted seam and pinned at a lesser seam allowance and then pinned down to where it was and took it in a tiny bit down here at the bottom. I did the same thing on both sides to make it comfortable where I want it to fit. Next, I know this bust dart is in the complete wrong spot. You want the point of your dart to hit the highest point of your bust and be backed off a little bit and go straight down from there. So I am gonna put a mark right where I want that bust point to be and then just draw a line where I want the new dart to go. You can see I put the point right at the highest point of her bust and then I drew a line straight down. You only need to focus on one side of your bodice while you're doing a fitting. The last common adjustment I see is having a lot of extra space in the armhole, particularly if you have a large bust. Here's the way to combat that. You wanna pinch out a dart and pin a dart going towards your bust point. I'm gonna pin that. Notice how I pinned out this dart. I go to zero at my bust point. I wanna direct it towards my bust point. I still have a little bit of room, but it's not gapping. So now that you're pretty happy with how everything is supposed to look once we make these adjustments, now we have to make the adjustments to our pattern. Don't worry, you don't have to have a dart here. We just know by directing it to where we will have a dart, we can manipulate and get rid of that. I will go over that in my other video about how to take fitting adjustments and make those adjustments to your pattern. Of course, there's a lot more that goes into all these steps, but hopefully this gives you a general idea of what to look for, where to start, and what to do if you're seeing these adjustments that need it on your body. Make sure to save this post for later next time you do a fitting. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.